then last but not least, I took a note of who his friends were, honey. Who does he hang with? Because you are who you hang with. You are the sum average of everybody you hang with. Yes, you are. You're the average of all those people. So I'm looking at who you with. Okay? Because more than likely you think like them. Because we don't hang with people that aren't like us. We, you know, they kind of turn us off. Like, they're just not my cup of tea. Yeah, it's true. So birds of a feather do flock together. So I looked at who are you hanging with? Uh, who are your friends? Because uh, these are my friends. And will these, this match? Does this match? You know, don't force nothing. If it's supposed to go, it'll fit. So, all right, y'all. So that's what I use to choose my husband. And um, hold on here. Let me see here. Because I think I had a, 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 yes, I do. A recap sheet. Sorry about that. Got to get my order in order. All right. So let's go over the uh, seven of the uh, things I used as tools to choose my husband. Number one, his relationship with God. Number two, uh, watch how he handled himself in every mood. Number three, how my family reacted to him. Now, I'd say my fa my brothers and my father, but don't sleep on your mama. Your mama got that sixth sense. She'd be like, mm -mm, honey, who is this uncircumcised Philistine you didn't brought up in here? <laughs> Mamas be knowing. They're like, I smell them from a mile away. Get rid of him. You know, so don't sleep on your mama. Your aunties need him. They be knowing. Um, number four, observed him with kids. Number five, uh, did he speak my love language as, as we were friends? Did he speak it? Now, if you're married... Let your spouse know what your love language is. Don't be, he need to know me by now. Girl, boo. Now this, now you need to talk. Don't be trying to hush you now. Talk. Tell him my love language is gifts. Can you give me one this week? Hmm. Girl, I'm trying to help your life. <laughs> you better tell him. <laughs> Number six, I watch for his character. Um, Just character traits. Number seven, I watch to see did we have the same values and number eight, I looked at who his friends were. I just said a whole lot right there. Let me tell you something. If you didn't use all these tools to choose your mate and you're now married, be strong in the Lord. This is what you do. All the stuff that seems to be missing in your mate, men and women, I don't care what, if it seems to be missing, that's what you need to pray for. That's what you need to pray for. Maybe you missed it on the front end. All right. God is a merciful God. He is gracious. Maybe you missed on the front end looking for all this stuff I'm talking about. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged today. Pray for it. God can do all things. Nothing is impossible for God. Begin to pray and begin to become that yourself and begin to, the Bible says that a woman can win her husband over by her chaste conversation. And that word in the Bible means how she behaves. Okay. But I don't believe that is just for the woman. It's talking about your behavior can change, can help a person want to change because see you sowing what you want to reap. You know what I'm saying? You're giving, you receive. So if you're a husband and you, you still feel like stuff missing or your wife and stuff seem to be missing, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send the rain on your marriage. God wants to send the rain on your marriage. God is for your marriage. He is for your marriage. Okay. And if you're single, Please watch this, this video. Add some more stuff to my list, okay, for yourself. Don't go out here just marrying anybody because they cute. Girl, boo. A lot of folks cute. Crazy, too. Hey, everybody uh, ain't for you. Uh, so I, I just want to leave you with that. And I really enjoy talking to you guys. This is Jesus, the Jim and them. I am Joy Edwards. You lambs have an awesome day. Bye-bye. I love to dance. I love to dance at church. I dance in my kitchen. This don't have nothing to do with the video. But I love it. All right, I'm gone for real.